Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for September. Okay, now keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. Uh, this is my second Leo reading. Actually, it's my third. I did a random Leo, Leo reading, I don't know, a week ago, and I posted it on Patreon because I just felt the need to do that. And I just go with my gut, you know. And um, then I just did a Leo reading for September. And I have decided to share that one over on Patreon as well. So this was, we'll see what comes up here. I did see that there's a quick exit. There, I also feel like, and I didn't say it in the other reading, that somebody is being blamed for something. It's almost like a verbal attack. They're being misjudged. They're being, it's like, I don't want to be held accountable. They're going to be blaming you, maybe throwing you under the bus. And I hate to start out reading like that, but I think that you need to be aware. And you may not be aware. You may be dealing with somebody that, you know, has another person involved and they're working together and they're trying to bring you down in some way. Anyhow, what do we have for Leo for September? Rainbow, the most difficult part of a situation is over. So the most difficult part of a situation is over. That's good. What do we have for Leo? Feeling tied down or frustrated. And we did have frustrated in the other one too, I believe. It was a different card though. But I think that you've been through a difficult situation, but I do feel like it is coming to an end. I feel like you are going to be victorious. There's something that you've been struggling with and you are going to be victorious, but the challenge isn't over yet. We had the X right here that I got out of this deck. So their, their X, their X. So somebody is that you are dealing with is still dealing with their X. Anyhow, what do we have? What do we have for Leo? Older woman. So there is an older woman involved that, that is affecting you in some way. Um, and maybe that's the ex or something like that. There's definitely an older woman that is going to be impacting you in September. What do we have for Leo? Oh, here it is. Empress. Could have something to do with a mother. Um, Empress. Emperor. Could be a Taurus. Could be a Libra. Um, this could also be your energy. The Empress gives birth to a new life. She nurtures things. It's a time of abundance, a time of love, tender love and care. Um, we have a new baby here. It's obviously time for a delivery. It's time for a blessing. You may be giving birth, whatever this is. The Empress, she, she nurtures things. She does everything with love. Um... That is giving birth to a new life. It's creative. It's getting creative. It's creating something new. So we do have somebody here that is creating something. It's a time of abundance and love. The most difficult part of a situation is over. That's good. Thirteen. Now, I think we got two feels like we got two. We do. We're going to take them both, 13 and 14. It's, it's interesting because I've used this deck quite a bit, but they were stuck. Uh, peace, Archangel Azrael. Release the past. There is more enriching. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. So this is the death card. Then we have 14, which is temperance. And this really goes together well with the death card because this is accepting solutions success that comes from objective compromise self-control and patience forgiving and healing energy in the other reading i really uh said that you need to be patient and i said it a few times the one that i just that i'm i haven't i haven't put it on patreon yet but i am going to as soon as i get the chance patience is needed Okay, you're going through a transformation. Death is a transformation. It is a transition. It's an ending that leads to a new beginning. There is a more enriching future coming, but you have to let go of whatever it is that you are resisting. And we had judgment reversed down here, which is a resistance. It's resistance to release. Anyhow, 
solutions, finding a solution. You will have success. You will have success, but you're going to have to objective compromise. Now, here we had judgment reversed. That is when you're judging others harshly. You're making poor judgment calls, right? You may be, be making poor judgment calls on other people. And, and I have to be honest, there could be an attack. There could be a verbal attack. When you're judging people too harshly based on your own beliefs, there could be people that place blame on you. There could be a bunch of people that get together to, you know, bring you down. So I just, I want to, I want you to be careful with your, the judgments that you make on other people during this time. Um, and maybe the Empress is, is a message of doing it with love. You know, maybe it's about acting with love, acting with kindness, love, kindness, loving unconditionally and not judging people so harshly based on your own beliefs. And I know it's really hard because we all do it. All right. Anyhow, release the past. And it's interesting because with judgment reverse, that was right here. Judgment is a card of the past. Okay, so that's not releasing the past. I feel like you're really hanging on to your past, your past experiences, and it's like you're trying, and it's like hunger. Judgment reverse is a hunger for spirituality, but I feel like it's going to extremes. So, anyhow, I feel like you need to release the past. There's a more enticing future. Like I said, we have a new beginning here. There is success that will come with time patience and going with the flow okay um this is a forgiving and healing energy and the judgment reverse is a lack of forgiveness so and what i saw is there could be a reconciliation but i feel like you're dealing with somebody that has been trying to reconcile i don't know if it's with their ex or with somebody from the past and you've been waiting it feels like you've been waiting for something and i feel like what you're waiting for is coming but you have to be even more patient. And if it doesn't come, accept it and allow that, you know, it wasn't in God's plan. Let go and let God. So we have an ending and a new beginning for sure. Um, but you're going to have to make a compromise and you need to learn to forgive. You need to learn to forgive people and not be so, it's my way or the highway. You know what I mean? I mean, that's all a lesson that we have to learn. Anyhow, what do we have? What do we have for Leo? I, I want to say taking a new approach. I feel like we have somebody here, like, and I think it's you that needs to take a new approach. Like, go and let God. There is a more enriching future. This is forgiving what happened. And it's really hard to forgive. It's really, really hard to forgive. It's probably one of the most biggest, hugest life lessons that we have to learn in this lifetime is forgiving. Everything happens for a reason. Temperance is a card of reason. Either way, this is a very beautiful, glowing energy. So you do have endings and new beginnings here. The most difficult part of a situation is over. You may be feeling frustrated. You may be growing impatient. We did have the Knight of Swords reverse, which is moving too fast. You may just need to slow down. Anyhow. Ooh, the moon. Now the moon is an unclear and difficult path ahead. The moon is deception, lies. It is. What you see is not what you get. There's something more. You need to look deeper at a situation. You do. You need to look deeper at a situation. There's something that you are not seeing very clearly. Now, you could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You also have Taurus and Libra here. You have Scorpio. You have Sagittarius. I feel like you really need to look deeper at a situation. Something is off. You're, listen to your intuition, okay? Look deep, dig deeper, look deeper, look below the surface. There's something that is hidden. You're not seeing everything. You're not seeing the full picture. What do we have for Leo? Beautiful new life is beginning. You may not know it. Um, ooh, look at that. And we've had the Ace of Cups in this deck. 
and it really explained it well. Um, we have a new relationship. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So there is a new love here. There is a new love here. But you have to be at peace with the past before you can accept it, per se. Because the temperance is a card of acceptance. And then the uh, judgment reverse or judgment upright is acceptance. But we had it reverse. It was right here. If you can't accept that the past is over, if you can't forgive the past, how can you be emotionally available for somebody in the future? Anyhow, there is new love here. A new person is going to be stirring your romantic feelings or they already have. You may be afraid. You may be fearful. You may be fearful of the unknown. Maybe you just need to go with the flow. That is temperance. Just go for it. Just go for it. Just allow it to happen. Maybe, maybe I mean, death is about change. This is the death card. You, you know, maybe it's time to stop resisting. Anyhow, Leo, I feel like you do have the birth of a new life here. There's a new a future ahead. It's a beautiful one. There's a new love. Um, compromise. Exciting. Now, this is a seed that has been planted, and it's this is like fertilization. Okay, so this is some sort of fertilization. This is growth. It's exciting. It's a new spark. It's all of a sudden. So something could be happening suddenly. This is uh, very exciting. It's a fresh start. Ah, but the Wheel of Fortune reverses delays. It's setbacks. It's going backwards. It's stuck. It's clinging to control. So somebody here does have an exciting new beginning, an exciting new opportunity for a new life. You know, they do, but they're stuck. That Wheel of Fortune reversed is stuck. It's setbacks, it's delays, it's bad luck, it's unfortunate. If there's an unfortunate delay or an unfortunate loss here, and it's because somebody's clinging. This is clinging, it's clinging to control, not moving forward. You have to let go of control. Success that comes from objective compromise. You have to let go of control. Ah! Hero font reverse. Now this is doesn't believe in oneself. No faith. Lack of commitment. Commitment issues. Struggling to believe. Doesn't listen to the gut. Not very spiritual. Having a hard time doing the right thing due to social pressure. Something to do with social media here as well. Maybe it's time to stop going on social media. That's a that's not gonna happen, is it, Leo? Anyhow, there's something to do with social media here. I feel like it's time to stop. Whatever that means. This is stop. Living up to the social, you know, what is socially acceptable. We do have the end of a commitment here as well. That's the death, and that is a commitment. The end of this could be the end of a marriage, the end of a contract, the end of a um, unfortunate circumstance. Unfortunately, this is an unfortunate loss. We have somebody here that is abusing their power. That hero font reverse is, an, and it, it really is. This is an abuse of control. And we have somebody here that's really not very spiritual. They may claim to be, but when you're when you're trying to control things, you don't have any faith in God. You don't have any faith. This is let go and let God. This is God. This is clinging to control. I guess the main message I have for you right now in September is to let go and let God. Do not try to control the situation. Do not try to control anything. Just go with the flow. Just allow things to happen. Let go of your fears. If trying to control situations is ego-based. Anyhow, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. I feel like you have an opportunity, an exciting opportunity, to create a new life, to create a new beginning, to start over, right? But 
there's this resistance to forgive and have faith and believe. And I feel like you've been married per se, whether you're actually married or not, married to a belief. And I feel like this belief is, is that you have to control a situation. Six of Swords reverse. Six of Swords reverse is not going anywhere. This is stuck. This is trouble. This is uh, refusing to take a new approach. Well, that's only going to cause more trouble. By, by being defiant and refusing to take a new approach and refusing to move on and trying to control a situation is going to bring bad, bad luck. It's going to bring loss. It's, it is. You need to focus on yourself. You need to believe in yourself. You need to have faith in new beginnings. You need to believe that whatever the higher power has made happen has happened for a reason. For some of you, especially if you are a masculine energy, there's an older woman here that can take care of you, that can nurture you, you know, if you are a woman watching this, you need to nurture yourself. And there is somebody else here that can, that may want to commit. You know, they may want you to give them a chance. But I feel like there's so much clinging to control and trying to not let go of the past that it's hindering your success. Anyhow, Six of Swords reverse. That is, that is trouble. It's rough. This is a rough patch, refusing to take a new approach, really, really stuck, not moving on, need to go with the flow, resisting the flow. This is resisting the flow, seriously. There could be trouble ahead. There could be, and like I said, even on social media, somebody could be causing trouble. Oh, goodness, this is definitely public, something to do with public, publicly. Um, unfinished business, flogging a dead horse, resisting change, what you resist persists. There's some sort of uh, wanting to prove oneself as well. Not learning from mistakes. I'm sorry. I mean, the world card reversed is, is not learning from mistakes. It's, it's, it's staying stuck. We got somebody here that is really stuck in the past. Refusing to move forward, refusing to move on. I feel like we have somebody here that keeps saying something on social media and it's gonna get them in trouble. I don't know what that is. Um, the world card reversed. That's flogging a dead horse, stuck in the present, refusing to focus on the future, refusing to accept that a cycle is over. Damn! Damn! This is refusing to accept. I don't believe it. I'm not going to listen. I'm not going to listen. Extreme. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. There is an unfortunate loss here. There is an unfortunate loss, and it's because we have somebody here that's not listening. They refuse to listen. They refuse to take a new approach. They refuse to compromise, and compromise is needed. That's right here. Success that comes from objective compromise. Forgiving. You need to forgive. You need to believe. You need to let go and let God. You know, if you've been in a commitment with somebody that doesn't want a commitment, we had unrequited love last time. That's what that card was. If you've been holding on to an unrequited love situation because of some sort of illusion, let it go. If that person has walked away and you didn't get the closure that you wanted, let it go. Right? Oh my God. They just keep a clarifying. That Eight of Cups is walking away. That is goodbye. That is goodbye. It's, t it's time for you to have peace. It's time for you to be at peace with everything that has happened. Just, just turn your back on it. Do not look back. Stop going back to the past. And that doesn't mean that you need to be harsh. And I saw the harshness with the Knight of Swords reversed. You don't have to be harsh. You don't have to be fight. You don't have to fight with it. Forgiving and learning and healing. Forgiveness is, is being kind, right? 
And I'm not saying that you're not kind. I'm saying right now, this is something that you need to hear. It's a time of love, unconditional love. But there is a horrendous loss here. We have somebody here that has abused their power. They have, they've been, they, because the Hierophant reverse is an abuse of power. This is somebody that struggles to do the right thing. You know, this person is under a lot of social pressure. They may be very, they, we may have somebody also here that has a body image, a self image problem. You know, they have, they, they really focus on the outside appearances. You know, the outside appearances are more important than anything else and it's causing uh, disharmony. The end of a cycle. This is the end. But when we have these two cycles, but there's so much resistance to it. We have somebody here that is seriously resisting change. They're refusing to listen, refusing to follow. This is refusing to take a new approach, refusing to listen to any advice, extremely stubborn. Now there's going to be a departure. Somebody's leaving. They're going to a better place. There's been such a struggle with an individual that I believe is very much focused on the exterior. There is an older woman that is going to be taking charge. I don't know. Or taking something. She's, she's, this older woman is getting the opportunity this is somebody that is, is very loving, very kind, very gentle, very nurturing. Hmm. Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups is a welcome message. It's a message of love. may have something to do with a child. We may have a child here. This is a messenger. It's a messenger of love. Somebody listening to their intuition. Somebody is saying goodbye to a situation. Their intuition is speaking to them. It's like they know that there's no commitment here. They know that they're flogging a dead horse. They know that this person is never going to change. They know this person is very controlling. There's some serious control issues here. The Page of Cups is somebody that is typically looking for love, you know, is looking for nourishment. Seven of Swords. We have a very sneaky, sly individual here. This is making an escape, going somewhere. There could even be an enemy disguised as a friend. You really need to be careful. You do need to be careful. Somebody could be telling your secrets. This may be somebody that, that you think that you can trust. I don't think that you can trust this person. Somebody's heart is really speaking to them, and I feel like they're going to be... Uh, leaving behind a situation that where there's been a lot of lies somebody's intuition heart whatever there's a new love here there is a new love here but somebody has been cheating themselves of love because they've been waiting for somebody to come back around that doesn't want a commitment but they're looking at the new opportunity for love there is definitely a new opportunity for love here there is also there is somebody that has been lying I feel like this person has been ignoring their heart they've been ignoring their feelings maybe lying to themselves there's some sort of mental manipulation here about an ending that has happened I feel like we have somebody here that has been waiting for somebody to come back around There could be somebody that is coming back around. i got to be honest. There could be with the Wheel of Fortune reverse and the World Card reverse. That could be unfinished business. That could be something that ended that is coming back around. But I want to say be careful. Because the Seven of Swords is be careful. Be careful for deception. Be careful. This person may be in trouble. Maybe they're in trouble. You know, maybe they, it doesn't feel like it's a long-term commitment here. 
This was trouble. This is trouble ahead. This is trouble ahead. Somebody could definitely be coming and asking you for forgiveness. But I feel like you need to forgive because I want to, I really want to reiterate that you need to forgive. It feels like you do need to forgive. Maybe, maybe you need to forgive so that you can move on. So that you can move on from the past. There is a new love here. There is a new love. Maybe you don't have any faith in it. Maybe you don't believe in it. Maybe it's because you've been waiting for somebody that abandoned you. And I saw the abandonment and the other one that abandoned you to come back. All is not as it seems. Look deeper. The most difficult part of a situation is over. There is a new person here. But you need to stop looking back. Damn! There's something. Because you keep on looking back at something. And the death card is, is it's over. It's over. Flogging a dead horse, looking back at, an, at something that is over when you have a new opportunity here. Some of you may even uh, get something better than what you had before because that's what the temperance card is. I feel like you really need to stop putting yourself in situations with people that don't want commitment be patient wait there is somebody coming towards you for sure that is better than what you had but the Empress, if you think about the Empress, the Empress is the goddess of love. She knows her value. She's patient. She waits for her blessing. She waits for her blessing. I feel like the seed has already been planted. If you are that Empress and you are in no hurry, you're in no hurry. You're in, I would say not to be in a, in a hurry. Be patient. You will receive a blessing. But if you are in a hurry, you're, you, you haven't learned your lesson yet. So you, this is like cheated. This is a lesson not learned. This is cheating, lies, deception. Interesting. Anyhow, Leo, there is a new love here. I feel like uh, you probably are stuck. You're stuck. With the world card reversed and the wheel of fortune reversed. I think that you're in a stuck of uh, self-deception about a situation. I mean, I'm just being honest. Um, I feel like there's no faith. I feel like you don't, maybe you don't believe. Or you're unwilling to listen. You're unwilling to move forward from somebody. Or you're unwilling to open up. I feel like you need to let go. I feel like you need to open up your heart. I feel like you need to... Um, stop going back stop going back and, and I would say don't spread any rumors on social media because if you do it is gonna come back to bite you in the ass hard and that's a message that somebody needs to hear um, be careful you do have an enemy disguised as a friend here, so be careful for that as well. There is an unfortunate loss because there is somebody here that is not telling the truth. This is somebody that is very deceptive. And I feel like, you know, you you, you want to give for to everybody, right? You, you want to. It's like you want to take care of everybody, but when somebody is not... If they're only causing you trouble, you need to remove yourself from the circumstances. Um, forgive, let go, and let God. Um, it's time to take a new approach. You need to say goodbye to something that is non-committal. You are headed towards something that is more balanced more healing, better than what you had. Somebody is going to be reaching out to you. I feel like this person is watching you. It could be a secret admirer. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
But I feel like there's a lot of, uh, I mean, that Six of Swords reversed is refusing to move on, refusing to move on from somebody that has already said goodbye. If you want peace in your life, let it go. You could be dealing with somebody who has a new sexual partner and you're having a hard time accepting it. You may have a new sexual partner. Let it go. Go with the flow. Go. My advice this September is to let it go. Forgive the past. Move on. Look deeper. Face your fears. There is an exciting opportunity for a new life here. There's an exciting opportunity for tender love and care. I mean, the Empress is about tender love and care. But you've got to let go of control. There is messages of love here, so I think that you may be um, communicating with somebody. This person may, able, may be able to help you heal if you let them. Good luck.